Hello Internet and welcome to another tutorial video for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. In this hopefully short video, I will talk you through the process of installing a sound pack for your game. So let's just jump into it. What is a sound pack you ask? Well, by default, Cataclysm doesn't have any sound except for some beeping when you move options in the menus. Now, some people prefer this. I hear a lot of people say that they just uh, put on some music and they play the game. But for many of us, myself included, we prefer having sound effects and a sound pack is what addresses this problem. Now, all of them will add some sort of sound effects to the game for things like melee attacks and misses, gunshots, monster death sounds, etc., etc. And the number of things that actually trigger sound effects are going to depend on which sound pack you select. Some of the older packs don't have as many effects. And additionally, some sound packs also come with music as well. Now, I know this is a bit of a niche case, but if you're someone who wants to make content for the game, either streaming or making videos, I would highly recommend you avoid sound packs that have music or you disable the music entirely because at least one of the packs contains copyrighted material. Now, this is why I use other music in my videos, which is what you're hearing now, presumably, uh, to guarantee that I don't anger those DMCA gods. Now, again, I know this is a bit of a niche case, but it seems like more and more of the community have been streaming the game, so it's worth mentioning that up front. Anyway, let's discuss now how to install a sound pack, and then afterwards, I'll give you some notes on which sound packs I would recommend you try out or avoid. Now, honestly, the easiest way to install a sound pack is if you use the third-party launcher. We'll talk about manual installation afterwards, but for now, let's talk about the launcher. So firstly, if you have the game open, you should definitely close it first, and you're gonna navigate to the sound packs tab of the launcher. Now on the left are sound packs that you currently have installed, and on the right are sound packs that are available through this launcher. You will click an option on the right side, and then click install this sound pack to begin the download. Just be aware that sound packs do contain a lot of sound files, and it's really not unusual for them to be 1 or 200 megs, so depending on your internet connection, this could take several minutes. Once the launcher has finished working, your sound pack will have been installed automatically to the correct place in your directory. You can now just start the game and navigate to the sound pack line in your settings menu. This is under settings, general, and in line 39 and 40. Make sure that sound enabled is set to true and then select your new sound pack on the choose sound pack line and that should be it. As of the time of this recording, the sound pack tab in the launcher should work perfectly, so I don't think you'll run into any trouble there. It is possible that in the future, some of the download links for these packs might be broken. If that is the case, you're gonna need to download and install them manually, which we will talk about in a moment. If your sound pack is not available in this options menu once you launch the game, it's possible that something broke during install and you should try installing again. Delete the pack you just installed by going to your CDDA directory, going into your data folder, and then the sound folder to find the pack you just installed. Go ahead and delete that, and then try reinstalling through the launcher. If this fails again, you will have to try installing manually, and if you're still having issues after that, I really don't know what the problem is. I've really, I've never encountered anyone who had trouble installing a sound pack, so I don't really know what the most likely causes would be. But now let's talk about how to install a sound pack manually. You're gonna to need to know where you've installed Cataclysm and you're going to need to download a sound pack for installation. So how do you find a sound pack for you to download? Well, honestly, the best place is probably this page here. This is the launcher's directory for sound pack links. It uses the same links that the third party launcher would use for downloading them. And of course I will link this in the description down below. As far as I know, all of these links still work at the time of this recording. So you should hopefully not run into any issues there. And these links are a little bit different though. Some of them link to GitHub, some of them link to the forum, some link to Chezo, which is a site that hosts a lot of Cataclysm stuff like the, uh, the old item browser. If it's hosted on the forum, there will be a link pointing you to a GitHub repository or maybe a place like Dropbox. And if it's one of the Chezo hosted downloads, when you plug in the URL, it will begin the download immediately and that comes directly from that site. Again, sound packs are one of the largest thing in the game and in or just in terms of file size, so be aware that some of the packs might be 160 to 200 megs or so. And I know some of you don't have the best internet in the world, so this might take a bit for you to download. However, once you've secured your download, you're going to need to unzip it if it came in the form of a zip file. After unzipping, make sure that your pack is not buried in extra folders. If you extract, a lot of times there will be an extra folder layer and you don't want that. So make sure you grab the innermost folder to prevent any issues. 
Now that you have a pack that has been extracted, go ahead and open your Cataclysm directory. Navigate to the folder labeled Sound, and this is where you're going to place that extracted folder. It's just that simple. If your game was already open, you will need to close it completely and then restart it before trying to enable your sound pack in the settings menu. So you'll go into the settings menu, go to options, and scroll down to line 39 and 40. Make sure that you have sound packs enabled on line 39, and then set your sound pack on line 40. If your pack is not available in this section, I suggest deleting it and trying to download it again. It's possible that your download was corrupted or that something went wrong with the program you used to extract the archive. Those are the two most common issues you will run into. And I've really never encountered any other issues when people try to install sound packs. So if this does not work, I'm sorry, I just, I don't really know what to tell you. It almost certainly will work for you the first time around, assuming that you followed these instructions. There are also some options here for you to adjust your sound effects and music volume independently. Again, if you're making content for the game, I highly recommend that you disable the music. There is at least one pack that I know of that has copyrighted music in it, and you really don't want to get in trouble on YouTube or wherever. So that's how you install install the sound packs, but now let's talk about some recommendations. Now people ask me sometimes which one I use in my personal play slash on my YouTube videos. I use Chest Hole, which is a very old sound pack that's, I mean, it's been around for years and I really don't recommend this to people. Mostly I play with it just for like two reasons. I'm used to it, which is the main one because I fear change because I'm a human being and change is very scary. And two, there's a loud heartbeat sound when I'm running out of stamina. This alerts me when my stamina is low and it's much easier to hear than the other sound packs, most of which they just use a sort of heavy breathing sound. Now that said, I like this sound pack, but again, I don't recommend this to people. There are better, more up-to-date, and higher quality sound packs that have been released over the last couple of years. Now the two that the community recommends most are the ATS sound pack and the Coag sound pack. ATS is also generally listed as Demolsk or something like that, so there might be some confusion there when you go to look for it. I have no idea how to say that, by the way, sorry. But that's the ATS sound pack, in case you were confused. And I have not used either of these sound packs, so I can't speak to ATS or or Coag, but I know that people talk about them very fondly and that they're very popular in the community. One of them at least adds vehicle sounds, which is something I don't think any other sound pack does, and people really seem to like that. And with that, internet, I think we've reached the end of the video. Smash that like button on your way out, and hopefully you will enjoy your newly installed sound pack. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.